Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today we're going to be installing the Unify Controller, the Docker image from Linux Server I/O. The Unify Controller is a server that you have to run to maintain your Unify equipment. So, for example, I've got a Unify access point and a Unify security gateway in my home. I need this piece of software to be able to control those devices. So we're going to be installing this on Pertainer. So log into your Pertainer app. Click on Containers. Click on Add Container. We'll call this Unified Controller. And like I said, we'll be using the Linux server image. And that's at Linux server slash Unify hyphen controller. Now we have a few network ports that we need to publish in order for this to work correctly. Um, I'm only going to use the mandatory ports for this video. Um, the first one is 3478, which is the Unify stun port. And you don't make sure you click on UDP. The next one is port 10001. This is also a UDP port that's used for access point discovery. Next is going to be a TCP port. It's going to be port 8080. It's required for device communication. And finally, port 8443, which is also a TCP port. This is for the web management interface. Next, we're going to add our volume for our configuration folder. On my Raspberry Pi, I created a folder at slash home slash pi slash docker. slash unify and then I'll map this folder to the config folder on the container. Next, because this is a Linux server IO image, we'll have two environment variables to set the PUID and PGID. Both values will be 1000. Finally, we'll set our restart policy to unless stopped because we need this server running consistently in order to monitor our, in order to monitor our devices. And we'll click deploy. I'm gonna speed this up for the sake of the video. Deployment on my Raspberry Pi 4 took about 10 minutes. All right, looks like the container has been created. Um, we will check the container logs to make sure that it's running. <clears throat> Once the container starts running, it's got a couple processes that it needs to go through. This also takes about five to 10 minutes. I'll speed it up for the sake of this video as well. All right, once that's completed, we'll try to go to the port that we published for our user interface, which was 8443. And you're going to get this error because it has to be HTTPS. You're going to get hit with this connection's not private. <clears throat> we'll visit the website anyway. And there you have it. You can set up your Unify controller. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if I helped you in any way. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.